Ever wonder what it's like to party with a music mogul? Well, according to recent lawsuits it might not be the glitz and glamour you'd expect. Imagine this, lawsuits are piling up against music producer Sean Diddy Combs, and no, it's not about a bad beat or a stolen riff, it's about what's going down at some of his parties. Allegations are flying about brutal sex parties at luxury hotels across the country. We're talking attendees being drugged, beaten, and raped. And who's leading the charge? One of the alleged victims, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, who's accusing Combs of forcing her into physical and sexual servitude. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't this the guy who used to throw white parties in the Hamptons? Yes my friends, the irony of Diddy's bad boy image is not lost on us. But it's not just talk, a federal sex trafficking investigation has been launched, Homeland Security has raided Diddy's properties. And it's not just Diddy in the hot seat, other big names including music executives and actor Cuba Gooding Jr. are being implicated in the lawsuits. But Diddy's not taking this lying down, he's denying all allegations, and his lawyer Aaron Dyer is calling the raids excessive and premature. Diddy's committed to clearing his name, but the question remains, what really went down at these parties and who ultimately will be held accountable. And it's not just one lawsuit. Oh no, we're up to five accusers now with the first accusation coming from, you guessed it, Cassie Ventura, Diddy's ex-girlfriend. Diddy settled with Ventura, but the remaining suits are still unresolved. So, next time you're invited to a celebrity shindig, maybe check the fine print. Or at least make sure Diddy's not hosting. Now you might be thinking, this is just Diddy's problem, right? Well, not quite. You see, in the great chain of the music industry when one link wobbles, the whole chain jangles. And right now, Diddy's link is doing more than just wobbling, it's practically doing the Macarena. Along with the music mogul himself, other individuals like music executives and even actor Cuba Gooding Jr. have found themselves ensnared in this tangled web of lawsuits. So, what does this mean for the industry? Well, let's just say the ripple effect is more like a tsunami. The waves are reaching far and wide and they're not just washing up on any old shore, they're crashing into the yacht of none other than Mr. J's himself. Yes, you heard right folks, Diddy's predicament is causing a stir in the waters around Jay-Z's empire. Now I don't know about you but if I were Jay-Z I'd be having a serious look at my contacts list right now. I mean come on, who needs friends who throw glass vases and throw parties that end up as federal investigations? It's enough to make you reconsider your guest list for your next yacht party isn't it? but let's not be too hasty. After all, Jay-Z has built an empire, and a few waves however big aren't likely to sink his ship. But it does serve as a reminder to all of us about the company we keep. The music industry, like any other industry, is interconnected. When one star flickers, the entire sky seems a little less bright. And right now, Diddy's star isn't just flickering, it's shooting across the sky with a trail of lawsuits in its wake. So remember, it's not just about who you know, it's also about who they know, and what they're being sued for. Alright so we've got lawsuits, raids and a whole lot of drama. But what's next for Diddy? Well, he's in the middle of a legal maelstrom. The lawsuits are piling up like fan mail after a hit single, and the potential legal ramifications are as serious as a heart attack. We're talking charges of sex trafficking, sexual assault and potentially even more. It's like a Law & Order episode but with more bling and less iced tea. Now Diddy, ever the entertainer, is denying these allegations with all the fervor of a comeback tour. His lawyer, Aaron Dyer, has issued a statement maintaining Diddy's innocence, calling the raids on his homes, excessive and premature. Well, Dyer's clearly earning his keep, but whether he can keep Diddy from doing a stint in the big house remains to be seen. And speaking of houses, Diddy's Miami and Los Angeles homes were raided by none other than the Department of Homeland Security. Now that's a guest you don't want dropping by unannounced, they were reportedly conducting a sex trafficking investigation. So far no charges have been filed, but the investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile Diddy's former girlfriend Cassie Ventura is leading the charge against him, she's accused him of some pretty horrific stuff including forcing her into physical and sexual servitude, but Diddy's not going down without a fight, he's settled with Ventura, but the other lawsuits remain unresolved. So. Where does this leave our hip-hop impresario? Well, if the allegations prove true, he could be trading his designer suits for an orange jumpsuit. But if he's innocent, he might just come out of this with a new album, Diddy the Comeback King. But whether he'll be laying down tracks in a studio or behind bars, one thing's for sure, it's going to be one hell of a show. So, will Diddy do time, or just dance his way out of trouble? 
only time will tell. So, we've had some laughs, but, let's not forget, these are serious allegations. Indeed, my friends, as we navigate this labyrinth of controversy surrounding Diddy, it's crucial to remember the weight of these allegations. Sex trafficking, abuse, assault, these are grave charges, and they're ones we mustn't take lightly. They're a stark reminder that even the glitz and glamour of the music industry can mask a darker reality. But let's not let this dampen our spirits too much. After all, we're all here because we share a love for music, and we can't let the actions of one individual taint an entire industry. So, while we may be chuckling at the absurdity of the situation, a world-famous music mogul caught up in a scandal that's more twisted than a soap opera plot, let's use this as a reminder to hold our idols accountable. Yes, we can groove to their beats and admire their talent, but let's not forget that they're human beings capable of making mistakes. And in some cases, those mistakes can have serious consequences. It's our job, as fans and consumers of music, to ensure that we're not blindly following the beat, but also listening to the lyrics, and understanding the story they tell about the artist behind them. So here's a call to action folks. Stay informed. Keep an ear to the ground and an eye on the news. Remember, knowledge is power. The power to make informed decisions to support the artists who align with our values, and to speak up when something doesn't sound right. And hey, don't be afraid to revisit those old classics, who knows? Given the current situation you might find a new perspective on them, maybe that old Diddy album isn't just a collection of catchy tunes but a narrative waiting to be unraveled. So keep an eye on the news folks. In the meantime, maybe give that old Diddy album a second listen. You might hear a few things differently now. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jet 